Am I the asshole? For not being able to give my daughter the birthday that she wants? My daughter is turning 15 in a few days. Money is a bit tight so I told her we can't afford a birthday party this year instead we can buy a cake, a gift and go out for dinner. She threw a tantrum over not getting a birthday party but finally got over it. She told me she wants a peanut butter chocolate cake, a tablet and wants to go to an Indian restaurant. I told her she is being unreasonable, she knows her brother is allergic to peanut butter, I even offered to buy her a cupcake but she insisted on having a cake so I said fine, you are getting a chocolate cake then. We had another argument over the gifts because I can't really afford a tablet so I asked her to choose something else but she wouldn't choose so I bought a new phone case for her then we had another argument. She knows neither me nor any of her siblings eat Indian food so I told her we'll go to her favorite fast food instead. She threw another tantrum and called me an asshole and said fine have fun then I'm not coming. She then called her dad and left with him. I've been trying to talk to her but the only thing she says is that she is not coming with us and won't talk to me. I can fully understand not being able to give her everything she wants. But it also sounds like you're determined to give her absolutely nothing she wants. Why? You're the asshole it seems more like you're making her birthday about everyone else. Your brother is allergic to PB. Okay so make her a PB chocolate cake and him a regular chocolate cake. It doesn't sound like you sat down and explained your budget and asked her if she would like something within your price range, but rather argued instead. We don't eat Indian food okay, so order her takeout from her favorite place and you get fast food. It doesn't sound like you even remotely tried to accommodate. That's why you're the asshole. You're the asshole. You aren't honoring any of her requests. It appears her dad is willing to, since she left with him. Good luck. You're the asshole. You said she's being selfish, but it's her birthday. You asked her what she wanted and then proceeded to shut down everything she said. It's not that you can't afford the tablet or a grand party, you're the asshole because you're making her birthday about what you and your son want. Get your son the cupcake. Let her get the food she wants and order you and your son something else. She's going to resent you if you don't prioritize her wants now and then, too. Info I don't understand the part about not being able to afford a birthday party though. All you really need for a party is a cake, some snacks, and friends. Buying some snacks can't be more expensive than taking your family out to dinner. And why not get her the cake she wants and get your son the cupcake? It's not his birthday and he's the one with the issue. But as she doesn't get the gift, the restaurant or cake of her choice. It's her birthday you could at least let her get one thing she wants. The cake would be the least expensive and you can't even do that for her. Let me guess, her brother is perfect. So you said she cannot have a party but. She can have cake but not the one she wants. She can have a gift but not the one she wants. She can have a meal out but not the one she wants. Just wondering if money is just as tight when it's her brother's birthday? You're the asshole how are you gonna tell her we can't throw you a party but we can give you these three things then proceed to not give her those three things? In all honesty she's old enough to know the family's financial situation but you guys gave her nothing and expected her to deal with it? You're the asshole, you are not the asshole for not being able to afford a birthday party but absolutely are for not getting her the cake and food she wants, it's her birthday you can get the brother a cupcake and can tolerate Indian food for a day or take her out to eat that then eat smth else. You're the asshole. You didn't give her one single thing she asked for. Instead you made it all about her siblings. I'm betting her tantrum is BC this kind of thing happens a lot. You even talk about how your other kids never pull this. I wonder if your younger children have a different dad? It almost seems like you intentionally treat this child differently. Another mother who thinks her teen daughter should accommodate everyone else and not have her own opinion or preferences. You're the asshole.
You're the asshole based on your responses to other commentators and also based on your prioritization of everyone else over her for her birthday. It's not her little brother's birthday, it's hers and she wanted a peanut butter cake. Get him the cupcake, see how easy that is? Instead, you have clearly shown her that even on her special day she is not as important as your other children. Of course she's not talking to you after all that. I get money being tight, I'm a single mom, that's not an excuse to make your daughter feel unimportant on her birthday. You're the asshole. You can buy a small PB cake, and a regular cupcake for your son. And don't give the dumb excuse of try keeping a four-year-old away from cake parents keep their kids away from food they're allergic to all the time. And I'm sure you could get over one night of Indian food, there's probably something on that menu you'll eat. The only understandable thing is the tablet. Other than that, Erta. After reading your comments, you're the biggest R. The day wasn't about what you or your other kids like. The least you could have done is gotten her the cake she likes. Who cares what you and your other kids like? It's not y'all's birthday. She called her dad and left. So she's the original child in a home with new children, there's no money for her extras and her preferences are subjugated to the new family members. We've seen this show before. Hopefully she has a nice home with her dad. You're the asshole. You're the asshole it's her birthday, the one day of the year that's supposed to be all about her. You seem more focused on what works for everyone else more than the birthday girl. You seem to have a chip on your shoulder with her. Your son can survive missing out on a slice of her birthday cake. Get her Indian if that's what she wants, get takeout and let her bring her best friend. She's also TA for throwing a tantrum, but is probably frustrated that you can't just let her have one day of the year that's all about her. I thought this post makes you an R but then I read your comments and wow, you're an even bigger R than I thought. You're the asshole. Neither you nor her siblings eat any Indian food? Indian food isn't just curry. There's a huge range of options heck some restaurants will also do an omelette for those who refuse to eat any Indian food. You have basically told her she cannot celebrate her birthday at all unless she does exactly as you say. You're the asshole. You're able to give her parts of the birthday she wants, you're just refusing to. You're the asshole. The tablet, I get it you can't afford it. The cake? You can easily get it for her instead of chocolate and it's cheap. Indian food? Absolutely something that you can do, it's her birthday. Suck it up and eat the food for one time. You are setting a precedent that her wishes don't matter to you. As per your comments on other threads, if you can buy a cupcake of peanut butter without any worry of your son, you can buy the cake too. Your daughter should get the cake she loves, doesn't matter if the family likes it or not. Instead we can buy a cake, a gift and go out for dinner. And then you say no to everything she asked for. Even the cake. You're the asshole. Jeez, this brings me back to my childhood. If this is normally how it is, your child will probably be traumatized. You're the asshole. You're the asshole you made her birthday about everyone else but her. You're the asshole the way you talk about your daughter is vile. She's not getting a single thing she wants for her birthday and your response is to accuse her of having tantrums. She doesn't get a party. She doesn't get the cake she wants. She gets a cheap phone case. And you're not even letting her choose where her birthday meal will be. Couldn't you have found a compromise? No party or family meal for her birthday, but let her and two friends go to the Indian restaurant. You also could have talked to her dad about splitting the cost of a tablet. Instead you shot her down at every turn. Why do you hate your daughter so much? You're the asshole. You can't afford a party, that's fine. But you're refusing to buy her choice of cake, and a birthday meal is ridiculous. And I've seen tablets on Amazon on less than $100, and I've seen Samsung tablets for under $150. Since your son is allergic to peanut butter, you buy him the cupcake, and you buy your daughter the cake she wants. You're the asshole. A phone s the present you got for you teenage child. 
How much did you spend on that? Info. What were your other children's birthdays like? What gifts did they get? Did they have parties? Did they get the cakes they wanted? Did you spend more on your other kids' birthdays than you spent on your daughter's? Because if you did then you're the asshole. You're the asshole it's your daughter's birthday, not your son's, so she gets the cake she wants. He can miss cake or he can get a cupcake. And pick up takeout Indian for her and you eat fast food. I can understand the tablet may be out of budget, but the other two requests are so easy. No money, so no party. Okay, fine. Money gets tight, let's see what you're offering instead. A birthday dinner, cake, and present? Cool. How are you handling? Oh, I see. Let's have dinner no, not that one. Pick a gift no, not that one, either. Pick a cake no, not that one, either. Who is this birthday dinner for, anyway? Because it sure as hell doesn't seem to be for her. You're the asshole. You're the asshole you need to learn how to better communicate with your daughter, no wonder the poor lass is confused. You're the asshole. Why offer her a cake, gift, and dinner if you were going to shoot down every choice she made? For her sake, couldn't you choke down a meal at the restaurant she chose? Don't be surprised if she leaves as soon as she can and never comes back. You're the asshole. She is getting nothing for her birthday. Everything that's supposed to be for her is catering someone else. Suggestion take her out to dinner. Just the two of you. That way she can eat food without others complaining. While there, give her the cake she wants. That way her brother is not exposed to his allergy since he is not there. Also, get her something better than a phone case. Or at least give her cash so she can get something she wants instead of something she'll never use and just throw away. You're the asshole. Get your four-year-old a cupcake and you can you without. You can suck it up for one night and have Indian food. Don't be surprised if your daughter avoids spending time with you as soon as she is able to. You're the asshole. I don't speak with my mother anymore. Welcome to your future with your daughter if you don't learn some basic respect and parenting. Between your post and comments, it's clear you have a favorite child. Not being able to afford certain items is understandable, but taking away every single option choice for your selfishness and your son's favoritism is outrageous. You're the asshole what a fucking clown show. If you can't do even one thing to make your daughter happy on her fucking birthday why shouldn't she spend it with her dad? You're the asshole, and a massive one. It's her birthday. Brother is allergic to peanut butter? No cake for him. Siblings don't like Indian food? They can have a sandwich at home then. Also, have the party outside at a park or something. Send the sibling somewhere else for the night and let her have a few friends over. She can have a great day, but you're choosing to make sure she doesn't. You're just too f you're the asshole big time. And I won't wonder if she will go North Carolina with you. Her birthday is about her and no one else. Getting her a small peanut cake wouldn't have been much. And there are good cheap tablet for $3100, so this won't be all so much. And lastly that you won't allow her Indian food, because of her sorry a reason is unbelievable. Er uh, just a pathetic representation of a mother and have no love, empathy and soul for her daughter whom I pity because of you. Edit typo. You're the asshole. This isn't you not being able to give her the birthday she wants. Half the reasons you gave to shoot her stuff down is just that her brother doesn't want those things, who I'm willing to bet is your special little guy who gets everything he wants on his birthday. Sounds like mommy has a serious case of playing favorites. You're the asshole. X200B. She is better off with her dad. You're the asshole. And after reading through your comments to other people's response you're a major R. I truly hope her dad's a good dad because she'll need it. But what's the point of doing something for her when it has to revolve around everybody else's needs? I'm glad she has her father to go to. You're the asshole. You can't get her the cake she wants because someone else is allergic to it. 
Why can't her brother just not eat cake or have something else for him? I grew up with years of having the family's fav cake for every birthday for anyone. I've never liked it, so as I got older they started getting the cake for the family and me a slice of something else, even on my birthday. I love my family, but I still hate birthdays.